Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt pressured to drink, even though you knew it wasn't in your best interest? Hi, I'm Sarah Fletcher, a licensed clinician at Sandstone Care, with 10 years experience in assisting others in their path to recovery. In this video, I'll be sharing six practical tips on how to deal with the peer pressure to drink so that you can make the best choices for your health and well-being. Tip number one, know your why. The first step in dealing with peer pressure is to be confident in your decision to abstain from drinking. Whether you're sober by choice or for health reasons, it's important to know that you have the power to say no. Remember that it is always okay to prioritize your own well-being over other people's expectations of you. Tip number two, have a plan. Another way to deal with peer pressure to drink is to plan ahead. If you know you'll be attending an event where alcohol will be served, bring your own non-alcoholic drink or find a sober buddy to support you. Having a plan in place can help you feel more supported in your ability to abstain. Tip number three, set those boundaries. Learning to communicate assertively can also be helpful while navigating peer pressure. If someone is pressuring you to drink, be clear that you are saying no. You don't owe anyone an explanation, but being assertive can help you feel more empowered in the moment and lead you to increase confidence in your recovery journey. Tip number four, the butterfly strategy. Have you ever been focused on something, but then out of the corner of your eye saw a butterfly and completely lost your focus? This effect can be used to purposely target peer pressuring situations. The strategy involves redirecting the conversation to a different topic or the butterfly. If someone is pressuring you to drink, try changing the subject or suggesting an activity that doesn't involve alcohol. This can help shift the focus away from drinking and onto something that you can engage with well. Tip number five, show some self-love. Dealing with peer pressure can be stressful, so it's important to practice self-care. This could mean taking a break from social situations where you feel uncomfortable, seeking advice from a therapist, or spending time with your support system. Remember, your health and well-being should always come first. Tip number six, the old fancy glass trick. Another strategy for deflecting peer pressure suggests ordering soda water with a lime or lemon wedge at the bar. The drink looks similar to a cocktail and can help you blend with others who are drinking. You can also ask the bartender to put your soda water in a fancy glass to make it look more like a mixed drink. Another option is to use a red solo cup which is often used at parties for beer or other alcoholic beverages. Dealing with peer pressure to drink can be challenging, but it's important to remember that you're not alone. By using these six tips, you can empower yourself to make the best decisions for your health and well-being. If you wanna learn more about substance use or mental health treatment options, please visit sandstonecare.com or call the number below. We will get to know you and connect you with the support you need, even if it's not with us. Change is possible and Sandstone Care is here to help.